Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at how we can take a series, the terms are positive, and if they're not, we take absolute values, and see if we can get a good feel for the size of this series or the sum. Like how big is the sum, like roughly, between two different things? Um, and that's where our integrals can come into play. Remember in the video when we were comparing this to integrals, we get, we go backwards from three to two to get more area to get an upper bound. We stay at three to get something that's smaller because the rectangles kind of go over the curve. And then we can get right here, we'll get a lower bound and here we'll get an upper bound. All right. So let's take an antiderivative. Take an antiderivative like x to the negative three becomes x to the negative two divided by negative two, which is like negative one over two x squared is the antiderivative. And two, when we take a limit as x goes to infinity in this bound. So if we do that, we end up getting zero at this part and then minus uh, negative one over this right here. So two times two squared, so that would be uh, one eighth, positive an eighth. This is positive an eighth, that's an upper bound. What's a lower bound? Well, it's the same setup, but we, but just with putting a three here, which would enable us to have one over two times three squared or two times nine, um, so one over 18. So therefore, we know that the actual sum is sandwiched between these two values. Now, this doesn't tell us exactly what the sum is, but it does tell us reasonably um, how far off um, <clears throat> what this sum is in between. Thanks for watching.